Well, welcome. Welcome to both of you. Glad you're here. Welcome to Just Breathe. But most importantly, I'm so happy that you're here. I'm proud of you for committing to the practice, whether it's to just breathe, to just pause, or to do a little bit of both. You want to land in this moment, feel yourself ground and settle. And as spring's energy blows us into the summer, you might be feeling a bit of that tumultuous energy of spring, or you might already be starting to feel the heat and the push, the challenge of summer. So as we breathe today, we're gonna to cultivate a little gentle cooling by way of the Chandra Vedana, the moon breath that comes in the left and out the right, and then back in the left and out the right. So that will be kind of our, our peak pranayam for today. And we'll start with just some easy breathing to notice what you notice in your body, to feel, to smell, to taste, to touch, and to hear all that is present in this moment for you right now. As the breath becomes your primary focus, notice the temperature of the breath as it enters through your nose. Do you have more sensation in the right nostril or the left nostril? If you're breathing through the mouth, notice what you feel there. This is not uncommon. In fact, it is absolutely normal to have one nostril more functioning, more open than the other, and that can alternate throughout the day. So just notice what you're noticing right now. And as that noticing becomes easier, less forced, shift your attention to controlling the length of your breath, evening out the sama vritti of the inhale and the exhale. And we're not looking to test the edge of our volume or our pace or our effort, but just to cultivate an evenness, an easy evenness. So for me, that's maybe about a count of four. For you, it might be three or it might be five or it might be something different. But again, we're not looking to make this an efforting breath as it is a soothing, calming, even cooling pace. In the Ayurvedic tradition, our cooling practices are those that create space between our limbs, between our thoughts, between our breaths. So the samavriti now might gently open up some space between the inhale and the exhale as box breath.
muscular effort starts to show up in the belly or the shoulders, the jaw, back off a little bit and the volume, the pace, or the effort. Let this be a cooling, soothing, grounding pace. As we accentuate the space between the effort of the inhale, the effort of the exhale, and you feel that coolness in terms of the energy, in terms of the effort of the mind stuff. Maybe, just maybe notice a little more of the nothingness that exists in that space between. time we inhale, it's a little more heat activated. Each time we exhale, a little more cooling, easing, grounding. Can you feel that transition? Can you bear witness to the shift and that pause between the effort of in and the release of out? may even notice a slight bump up in your blood pressure and that inhalation. An activation of your sympathetic nervous system to then once again sway over to the parasympathetic as you exhale. an easy adaptation. If you are feeling more heated, more agitated, now start to emphasize the exhale more. To cool, to calm, to steady. If you're feeling relatively easeful between these transitions, then stay with that evenness. Find a new home here in the rise and the fall the effort and the ease, knowing that you have control to emphasize where you need for rebalance, for redistribution. So just as we've emphasized this inhale and exhale, 
this effort and the ease, the, the moving and the stillness. Now let's shift to Chandra Vedana, moon breath. The mudra, the hand position, is the same as we do for Nadi Shodhana. In other words, in through the left by closing the right nostril and then closing the left nostril and breathing out the right. And we'll circle it back again. So in the left, out the right, in the left, out the right. Now let your pace come back to that familiar that you were doing before. And after a few rounds, notice what you notice. Can you notice the cooler temperature coming in the left side? The warmer temperature of the breath as it exhales out the right side. The effect of that breath traveling through your body, warming it, moisturizing it, applying it to the effort of living your day, of doing the things. And from here, you can bring that box breath concept in as well. So you inhale and pause at the top, twitch the fingers, exhale out the right, pause at the bottom, twitch the fingers. Next time that you exhale out that right side, release the mudra, release the pranayama. And feel perhaps the imbalance that you have exaggerated through the Chandra Vedana breath, the moon cooling feminine breath. And as that imbalance awareness dissipates the mind and the body, once again, come back to ease of homeostasis of familiar. Notice that it is perhaps a little different than the space in which you began our practice together. What is shifted? Is the breath slower or steadier? Is the mind calmer, clearer? Even if it's not these things, that's okay. Just notice what is here. The mindfulness is the practice.
and the breath feels steady and even. And close your practice. Move on with your day. If you're feeling a little agitated, then of course, linger here as you need. For those of you who are moving forward to what's next in your day, may you breathe deeply and move freely. Labor lovingly and live vibrantly. Namaste.